Friday. Hey. Hey, y'all. What's going on, guys? Intro picks. Oxytocin. In the building. Drinks and conversation. Thank you for joining us. The podcast. Yes, indeed. What's going on, guys? How y'all feeling? How you doing today? <laughs> what's up, Toast? Hey, what's up, Scrap? Hey, listen, we is live. This is our first podcast. Woo! Uh, I try to say yay, but it sounds like a ow. Oh. Yeah, that was a little bit of a <laughs> <laughs> wolf type. <laughs> Drinks and conversation. Yeah, it's coming to you live and direct. Live and direct. Well, uh, I'm intro picks. Always in the building. Celebrity photographer. Newly author, my That's an yeah. accomplishment right there. And I want to say yeah. I'm proud of you. Newly yeah. author. I'm going to say that one day. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to dabble, get in a little something, 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 you know. Hey, 2016 is the year to do it. If you want to do it, do it. Let go. Hey. <laughs> So, Toast, what we, what, what we got planned today? How, how, how we going to flip it on them? Man, we need to talk about Drinks and Conversations 3. Yes. That's coming to you soon. Matter of fact, we, we, we put a date down, right? So, it's what? April 30th. April 30th. It's going down. Atlas Morgan, D.C., Oxytocin, Intro Picks. Be there. It, it, it's it's, it's going to be one for the book. Spring Fever. Let me tell you. Our last... Our last drinks and conversation was on point. Let me tell you, if y'all want to come through and, and and enjoy some good conversation, some good food, some good laughter, yes. and, and just talk it out with us and get a chance to meet us, that's the perfect opportunity to do so. So next time when we have our next event, y'all definitely got to come out. And don't forget to let the people know, because the people always say, well, how much is it? How, what it costs? Let them know how much it costs. It's free 99. <laughs> F-R-E-E, free. So you don't got to pay any money out of your pocket. Just come down and have a good time. All we ask is you have positive vibes. Positive vibes only. Yes, most definitely. And, you know, we had a really, really, really good time. Oh, we had a blast. Yes, and it was a big success. We had a big turnout. It was just, it was just wonderful. It was, it was. And it's going to be even bigger and better. And that's why we started this podcast. Ain't that right? That's right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. And, you know, with every different event, we have different subjects and different controversial issues that we like to talk about with everybody in the community. But right now, we got a little podcast going on, and we just want y'all to tune in, listen to us. And if you want to be a part of the show, just email us and let us know, and we're going to get you on board. And we're going to talk about everything underneath the sun because we got a lot of conversation. And we got good opinions. And nothing's off topic. Like, you know, it's a safe space. That's what's most important. This is a safe space. If you feel it, go ahead, talk about it. We'll dialogue and get it out. Don't need to hold it in, all right? Don't like anyone even no therapist. And we're going to get our drink on at the same time. This man is actually pouring his pouring drink. right now. Prepping his drink on right, right now. Because ain't nothing better than being drunk and chilling. Well, you can be drunk. I ain't about, I'm not about that drunk <laughs> life. I've given that up mm, some, some odd years ago. I'm not about that drunk How life. I'm going to have a co-host that's not drinking with me no, on you, drinks and I'm conversation. Drink, but you're going to be drunk. It's a big difference. No, hey, know the tipsy difference, right? is the word. So you're tipsy. Tipsy slash I'm let you have that. I'm going to let you think you're tipsy. Bit. All right. Let me tell you, Long Island tipsy. gets you right where you need to be. All right? We talk Long Island, <laughs> but he's tipsy. All right, I'm going to let that slide. I'm definitely going to let that slide. Drinks in conversation. Three. It's coming. I want to tell y'all again. April. 30th. Where? Adams Morgan. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. So our last event, our theme was love and relationships. Love and relationships. Now, who hasn't been in love? Or relationships. <laughs> Out here in 2016, don't yeah. be in no relationship. We gotta save these hearts out here. Let's save what hearts? These hearts that are broken. Man. I see more broken hearts than loved hearts. And who fault is that? Not mine. It ain't mine either. No. We got social media to blame. Social so, social media break break homes. Social media is a home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a mistress. It's a tool. <laughs> 
you got to know when to use social media. Toast? Yeah, but a lot of people don't know when to use social media. I mean, it depends. I think it works for you for what you want to use it for. If you're trying to cheat, hey. If you're trying to find a job, hey. If you're trying to network, hey. It's like a one-stop shop for everything. Nah, it's not a one-stop shop for everything. I think it is. <laughs> people be flooding your inbox. Hey, how That's you doing? True. That's true. Well, I mean, let's talk because... Nowadays, you have artists like, let's say, uh, Sage. The, do you know about Sage the Gemini? I know you know Sage the Gemini. I know him only because of Jordan Sparks. Yes. And recently in the news, he even, you know, he, he tried to get his boo thing back. He tried to. Tried and failed. He tried, at least. You Trying know. isn't succeeding. And what he, he put out this big apology on um on Instagram. I remember I seen it on like the shade room or whatever. And um he wanted to get his girl back. He's a pancake. One minute you love me, you want me back, but the next minute you telling secrets and you really didn't like me. Like pick do you like me? Do you not? Like what's up with that? You can't flip flop. Well, they said it was a PR stunt. But we don't, well, don't really know, me. though. We don't really know. Jordan is not a tool. Let you know me tell you, I mean? you don't guys always like play the we both ends of the of, of the fence. He had a girlfriend, and then he got caught, you know, telling her some things about his ex. And of course, you won't bash your ex. No, how about of course girl. you be honest? Nobody how about of course bashes. You say I'm sorry. How about of nope. course you don't bash somebody like that? No, I mean sometimes no you got to do what you got to do. And you shouldn't be bashing someone. No excuse. I mean he didn't know he was recorded. It don't matter. That's how you know he uh, just a horrible person. He's a horrible person, <laughs> and he should never ever be forgiven. He's a Gemini. Sometimes you got no mixed excuses. personalities. Sometimes you is one way this no way excuses. and one way that way. You never know. Intro. No yep. excuses. No, there is excuses when it comes down to it sometimes. No, he was trapped into a corner and he spilled like a... <laughs> I'm not going to use that <laughs> word, but basically that's what it is. You're a grown man. You don't need to be caving under pressure. Be honest. Live through it. Uh. <laughs> no, because he really made me upset. I was like, come on. You all kissing and telling. Don't and toast is really uh, mad over here. I am. And I didn't even know who he was. Jordan put him on me. So, I mean, who is he? What, is, what, what did he do? I, I, exactly. He That's my point. Cheated or you don't bite the or hand that puts you on. She did definitely did not put him on. I'm sorry. I don't know who he is. She definitely didn't put him on. Well. But Jordan was definitely on. Like He wasn't on TMZ before he started talking to Jordan. So, I mean, I mean be he wasn't coming across E! News before he started really talking know. to Jordan. I don't, know. I don't really I know. I didn't even know who he was before he started talking to Jordan. <laughs> so, he needs to get his celebrity up. Because, I'm sorry. So do you recall do you recall conversations in your in your relationships? In relationships, no. I, I mean, just just to be petty. I mean, no. Mm -mm. I, I, mean, I I left the petty behavior back in 2012. So um, no. I see it like this. Say to the Gemini brother, if you really want your girl back, send flowers. Who says Call he didn't her. send flowers? Call her. Who says he didn't? He made Who a whole song did? about her. Nobody want no song. Man, listen. Sometimes Make you be telling. Song, sometimes you tell TV your ex, or maybe your current, whatever the case may be. You're not gonna tell your current or your ex any good things about or the maybe girl that you love. He was just love. trying to have his cake and eat it too. Well, ain't no point of having the cake. Like to me. <laughs> ain't no point of having the cake if you can't eat it. No, we all trying to lose weight. Anybody want no cake? <laughs> Need to get himself together. Let us know what y'all think out there. No sympathy for Sage. Sage is a good guy. Yeah, don't, you know, don't, don't you know who's a good Sage. guy, though? You know who's really a good guy, though? I think Rob Kardashian is a great guy. And I think Black China and him... I think it's a good pair. I, I think you, they, I think, think they make a good, a good. A I good think mix. so too. She is helping him through the struggle. Talk about rock bottom. Let he me tell you, any girl there. that comes into your life and got some good tunchy and and is helping you lose weight, I'm not is gonna say always that a plus. I, I don't think that's that could be a small, minute part of it, but I don't think that's what's helping him. Lose no, weight. I think that's the I big part. I think her influence on his life and him. You know, having someone to be with him and to you know, take interest in him because wasn't nobody. But is she really there for him? Yes. 
I think it could. I think Why? I honestly believe that it started as a little game because that's they're Tiger's that baby mother. Why? No, 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 no. She's Black China, not Tiger's baby mother. No, she's Tiger's no, baby she mother. she is Black China. <laughs> she is her own person. She's not Tiger's she's baby not. mom. She's, she's not. not. Linked or tied she's to him. Black China's Tiger's baby mother. No, <laughs> you better get out my face. No, you see, I'm not even gonna pay him no mind right there. Black China is Black China, and she's gonna like be Black China. Black China. I like her too. Yeah. And I want her to be happy. I did want her to distance oh. herself away from the crazy case. So that's why you go after Rob Kardashian. Why? Why did she? Go, why didn't he come after her? It's always on the you female. Think, you she think went he after came him. after her? I think he's always liked you her. You really think he came yes, after her? Yes, I think he's always liked her. Yes. Yes, I think so. I don't think she came after him. He's a grown man. It's the risk reciprocity. Like, I like you. You like me. Okay, let's kind of get together. But I do think they were doing it to get back at the family, but it kind of morphed or turned into something that maybe I do like you. I mean, they're both kind of cool people. I don't know them personally, but I think they're both cool people. Well, behind every fat dude is always a skinny one. So I always <laughs> say that. <laughs> no, no. Skinny Rob is in there somewhere. Come on, Skinny Rob. You know what I do like, though? I do like the fact that she is helping him get back on board. Yes. She is helping him get fit. Health and she wellness. Is, she's helping him, you know, get back into his confidence yes. and stuff like that. Cause He's posting videos and stuff. He wasn't yeah. doing all that. I mean, sometimes, it's, sometimes you know, you get in that depression. And and maybe with fame and fortune and stuff like that, like you not you just all the you know, eyes that are on him. Yeah. It, 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 you, you don't it want can that. Be a bit overwhelming. I believe yeah. it can. Yeah, I believe I, it can. I, I, I like Black China. Yeah. I do think she do a lot of mm, you know childish stuff, but I I, okay. I feel that who, who doesn't, especially when it comes to relationships. That I know is. you've done some childish things. You care to share? <laughs> care to share? Yeah. Well, oh, oh, I thought so. I'm okay. a stalker. <laughs> I ain't even go on front. All right, hide your girls. We got a stalker <laughs> over here. Hide your lady. I will, I will stalk you. I'm a Scorpio, so I will stalk you to infinity and beyond. All right, so if you see an African American male about five foot eleven coming at you, it's intro. Bald pick. head. Yes, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's intro me. pick. Hiding in the Don't bushes. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> he just wants to watch where you go. <laughs> I, w I will stop. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm a bona fide stalker. I don't have any crazy habits. I'm just as That's a lie. <laughs> That's what do you a, mean lie? a lie. Nobody knows me better than me. Not near one person knows me better than me. And That's I'm telling you, I'm not crazy. And how are we supposed to believe that? Because I'm telling you, I'm not crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Gonna, if we gonna, talk to some of your ex-boyfriends, I tell, I bet you they would tell oh my, you they'll be that like, crazy. oh my gosh, she's the I one that got away. I bet you they would away. tell you you crazy. No, they're gonna be like, oh my goodness, she's the one that got away. I miss her, and I'm like, I'm your no. friend, and I know you're crazy. So oh I my know. Goodness. <laughs> You know what? I need. To I know you. All right. If you go to oxytocin TV dot gmail at gmail, I said dot. Sorry, at gmail dot com. I'm taking applications for friends because clearly this <laughs> is not my friend. Okay. No, a real friend would tell you, Tosin, you're crazy. I'm not crazy though. <laughs> a little bit. Let me tell you, they miss a good thing, and and I'm the good thing, and I'm gone. Well, all right, Black China. Just like Chris Brown is over there missing Karuchi. Yes, they missing me. Damn. I think Chris Brown is really missing Karuchi. Hell yeah, he I, is, and he I will think, continue do, to miss do he her because she should never go back. Do he follow her on Instagram? I think he does follow her on Instagram because he was Insta watching. Yeah, he was. I don't know. Let me tell you, I follow Karuchi on Instagram. I follow her too. Hey, and, girl. Uh, <laughs> So since she don't know you. <laughs> but she was, that's my friend in my head. Like, that's my homegirl. I like Karuchi, though. I'm rooting for Karuchi. Like, in my Tyra Banks voice. And not just because her name is weird. Like, I'm really rooting for her. You know, yeah, you remember that Tyra Banks episode when she was screaming on the girl from Top Model? Yeah, I remember. And when Karuchi got back with Chris Brown, even though I love me some Chris Brown, I was like, no. I like I'm Karuchi. rooting for you. We all rooting for you. <laughs> Like, I was really some type of way. I'm so happy for her. She's moving on. She's excelling yes. in her career. What more could you ask for? She, she's beautiful. I, mean, I she's like gorgeous. Karuchi. And I, I do want Karuchi to win. And she is too. beautiful. Yes. And I think Chris Brown, he watches her. He sees what she's doing. And he's, he's like, jealous. damn. I don't. I don't. want that I done, old thing I back. Up. I done messed up. He want that old thing back. Now, he done had a baby. Honor. Liability. 
Could you be with somebody that had a baby on I you? I can. You could be no, with somebody no, no, that. No. Oh, who I spoke <laughs> too soon. That's why it's important to listen. I spoke uh, way too soon. Oh, Lord. That had a baby on me. I mean, Gabrielle somebody Union had did it. too many drinks. I mean, Gabrielle in the Union did it. But for me personally, um, I'd have to say no. I. But I haven't gone through that. But you know so what? So you never know what you're actually doing to your in that situation. But from the outside looking in, absolutely not. Damn. I think Chris could woo, could woo her back. Yeah, he can with some time and some yeah. money. Yeah. And some yeah. honey and more money. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, but he she needs that. her time yeah. to do her. Yeah. I yeah. think I think and he, he can woo her back. Rude. I, Chris, I do love you a while. He did a lot. He did a lot. And she has a forgiving heart. And she's such a sweet girl. I just want her to be happy. I really but I think do. his I think his daughter changed him a little bit more. It matured him. He's a parent. And I think now he could be a better man. You know, to her. people always say that my child changed me. My child changed me. There, there's so many different pieces of us that when your child changes you, they change you in the way you interact, maybe with children, not in the way that you're going to be in your relationship. For example, I could be a, a crazy cheater. I may have a baby. Oh, and I love my child so much, but I'm still going to be a cheater. That be having a child doesn't change your relationship with how you treat other people. No, it just changes but your relationship a child, with child. When you have a child, I have a child, so I understand what you're oh, saying. I know, but <laughs> it does not change. Like the way I am in my relationships with the male is the same way that I'm going. But it to makes be. you more mature. You can't for some take the people, fact. Not for everyone, and not I don't for think everyone. He, but we, but we can't say that he. But a lot of times for men. Outside. For See, men. I don't know for men, but I'm saying I, don't, for I would men. hope so. But I mean, it's a lot. Of, there's a lot of men out here who have who got 80 kids and they're still acting crazy. That's true. They still haven't matured and they're still that's acting true. like they're 16. So I mean, I just think saying that oh his child changed him that statement is just going too far and there's just too much power in that. So you don't think that if you have for a guy that's young, once they begin to have a child, that if they have a child, that they can somewhat mature on a different type of level once they become a, a dad or a father, for especially some. to a little girl. For some, but we, uh, as far as, I'm just talking about Chris Brown. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I, I mean, I'm just think, saying, oh, his daughter changed him and he's changed. I think we don't know if that man has changed or not, and by all means he has the right to be him, and he doesn't have to change, you but I'm what? just saying I, I, I think that statement is just too loaded. Two seconds ago, you was Team Breezy. I'm always <laughs> Team Breezy, but I got to call a spade a spade. Like, I, I, every so you don't think Chris changed at all? I don't know. It's all it, We don't know Chris. You That's just no, his image. But based off of your perception, do you believe that Chris I think he Brown, has a softer side when it comes to his daughter, but as he should because he's a father. But will that make him not cheat on the next woman and do the same thing that he did with Karuchi? I mean, we're talking about cheating. I'm talking about, you know... Just being a better man. Well, I hope so, but I don't know. I think it's for me to say he's a better father. Well, do you think he's gonna get back with Cruz? I, I think when they like a little bit more age and they get a little older, I, I think maybe if she's willing. To what about Rihanna? That's just toxic. I don't recommend <laughs> they ever get together. Do you think Rihanna and Drake? No. I think she, they know people like to see them together, but if they if they were gonna get together, they should have done it by now. Or maybe they just like. Did you like the work? Together. Did you like the work video? I like the song. I think it was very lazy. You know, it was very lazily spit, but very it, lazily. It, I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's cool. You know, Rihanna at this point, she can pretty much do whatever it is that she wants musically, and it kind of sounds good. Like I like it. Are I, you a Rihanna fan? I used to love Rihanna when she first came out, uh -huh. but really, I don't really listen to Rihanna like that. But you know, once you get a number one single, I'ma know what the single is. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. She just yeah. she just surpassed uh, Michael Jackson. Fourteen number one, fourteen number one single. Number That's one a singles. big deal. So you got to give her her credit. You got to give them yeah. all her credit. Rihanna, her Chris. Credit. I mean, there's some really talented people. God bless their souls. They're really talented. One thing I do like, a, I'm not a big Rihanna fan, um, but one thing I Haters. do like about her. Like, nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a part of the fan <laughs> in the Navy. But um, w one thing I do like about her is that she's very consistent. She is. And she is. you got to applaud someone who is very, very consistent. She's been album after album, single after single, and Work ethic is true. She, it's, it's her work true. ethic is fire, as it should be for everyone. Even if you work at McDonald's, your work ethic should yeah. be fire. So 
what we do on yeah. our day, you know, we both got day jobs. We should be working hard. Fire. What Go do you hard think is the, you do. What do you think is the hardest thing about maintaining a relationship in the public, though? Everybody in your business. You're yeah, never really alone. True. I mean, I don't know how they do that paparazzi stuff. I would just go crazy, honestly. How I about mean, do you, you, what do you, do you think? think? Do you think that's that? I think it's hard. I think it's hard uh, just being a celebrity. Like you said, everybody's in your business. But even if you're not a celebrity and you're in a relationship now, just us regular folk, is, isn't it still hard having people in your in your business? I don't when know. When it comes down to family and friends? And I'm stuff? not in a relationship. I think that's a question better suited for you. <laughs> Tables turned. <laughs> Tables turned. Oh, listen. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. But I'm, I, I, I try to keep everybody out of my relationship. I try to keep it. How's that working for you? It's actually working good. Really? Yeah. So your family yeah. don't know anything about what's going no, on? No, they do. They do. Your family, but they only know certain things. They okay. know you're together. They know you're good. But when it comes down to your problems and it comes down to your issues and it comes down to um, little debacles that you may have, you, you keep that in between. You keep that at home because the more people you put in between, I feel like the more opinions you get, the more things that will drive you apart. Mm -hmm. So one thing I've learned in my relationships, my past relationships, is that keep everything that you got going on between you and that person. It just makes it more inclusive. It makes it more, it makes it better. That's true. That's true. If you want it to last. Yeah, because I used to be a social media king, a social, you know. Social put, media king. <laughs> <laughs> I used to put everything on there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so if I go back in your stuff, I can find your social security You ain't going to find nothing because I had to delete it all. Oh, good, good, good. I'm, I'm going to go check <laughs> just the, in case. That's one of the woes. I'm going to claim you on my taxes since your social security <laughs> number out there and whatnot. That's one of the woes from going from relationship to relationship. You got to go back and delete. You got to go back and delete everything. I don't. I'm not with that. Putting, like, my spouse on, like, my social media, especially if it's a boyfriend. Now, if you're engaged, I'll so give you. So you never put your boyfriend on no, social media? No, no, no. Media. I'm not with it now. Like, you got to understand, I've changed. Okay. From, you know, like, the things that I used to do, you know, versus now if I were to okay. be getting a relationship again. Like, I wouldn't post you at all. At all. Why not? Because, no, because we can break up tomorrow. That's why. So when so when is it acceptable to really post your relationship on social media? Is it, I mean, is it, it, it ever? It, it is, as long as you're okay with people being in your business. Now, you can't post all your business or all your photos, and then when people critique it or when people have something to say, you're upset. That's no, true. because you gave them something to say. I feel like if you're going to publicly put your stuff out there, be ready to, public, whatever, be ready to take on whatever comes with that. You know what I mean? I guess when people post stuff on social media, it's a way of saying how much you love someone. Let's take um, let's take Brandy. I don't, don't know if you remember. Don't buy me flowers. Just post me on social media. <laughs> hey, don't worry about taking me out for my birthday. Just no, post me on it. social you take, media. You can take people out for your birthday, but you just I, post it. You I Snapchat refuse that to thing. believe. You Snapchat okay, that Okay, so do me a favor. We're going to post a question down in the comment section. Let us know. Does... Your spouse posting your picture or their affirmation for you on social media equates love. Do you feel more loved when they do that? Because I think I just, women do. So now it's women. No, I really think women do. Oh, That's so, why so men you have don't? Sage the Gemini okay, no, no, but making so men songs don't. and writing. Okay, and that's you why you have women all do. of these fans okay, what about men? To, to Jordan's page and saying, listen, okay. take it back. I got you. Please. I got He's you. Sorry. So what about men, though? So men, gay, nay, what, what, what are you saying? I mean, for men, too. I mean, I feel like, you know, it, it's a different eh, level. Eh. Yes. No, it's a different level. Please drop a comment because I just like if you post me on social media, I'm not gonna think you feel more or less about me. It's just like, oh, all right, okay. It doesn't like, nah, that doesn't. But hey, but then again, <laughs> I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> That's Woo! true. Ooh, we gotta, don't we come for me. Don't come for me. By the end of 2016. Y'all, don't come for me. <laughs> By the end of 2016, we getting toast in a relationship, y'all. Uh -huh. Drinks and conversation. The podcast. <laughs> yes. We yes. Get, you know what I want to talk about, Toast? What do you want to talk about? 
so we can wrap this up. I want to talk about man engagement. Have you Don't have you heard me, have I, you heard of man? Now we exactly talked about a little bit at our last event, was. but let, yes. but I want to talk about man engagements. Have you the foolery? Yes, <laughs> foolishness. Foolishness. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I just had a moment. I had a moment. Forgive me. Go ahead. How was that foolery? It's been on Love and Hip Hop. Chrissy, she proposed to Jim Jones. And I'm happy for her. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of women out here that are proposing to men. As a last resort. I don't think it's a last resort. As a last resort. <laughs> Clearly, Christy waited. And she, she made it known it's that it was a last she resort. She still ain't married yet. <laughs> <laughs> they it's still ain't like, married yet, by the way. Saying, that's the last resort. Every woman who is out here saying, a woman is not with her man for like two years. And like, oh, let me just propose to him. She's waiting to be proposed to. And after a while, she gets tired of it. And she's like, let me just do it myself. Which she shouldn't do. I just don't agree with that. I mean, for the people out there that, you know, for all the women who wants to go ring shopping and buy your man's ring and get on your um, knee and, and propose to your man, by all means, if that's what you want to do, do it, honey. And be proud that I ain't doing it. And I never will do it. So you're saying all. that if a woman wants to propose to a man, go more, out and do it. More cake for her. Absolutely. But you wouldn't do it. Absolutely. Because. I would not. Because I, I wouldn't do it because I just wouldn't do it. Not that I just wouldn't do it. That's not a good way to say it. I just don't believe it's right. Okay. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that if if he doesn't feel like he could propose to but me. You, but you know, even we if had, I want to get married, I'm not going to do it. But we had someone at our event, the last drinks and conversation, love and relationships. Mm -hmm. We had someone at our event that said, listen, if I want to get married and I'm with this guy, I'm going to propose. I want to get married. I'm going to propose. Wow, that's great. Did she What's do wrong it? with that? Did she do it? I don't know if she did it okay, or not. Okay, now, okay, table's <laughs> turn. So now let's say, because you're in a relationship. Yes. Now let's say if your girl came, matter of fact, let's say she just came in the studio right now. And she, proposed to listen me? Listen to me. Let me fit the camera. Oh, okay, go, 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 ahead, go, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so she comes in the studio. Yes. She's like, you know, gets down on one knee, mm. grabs your left hand, and says mm. those words. Those four words. What would you do? Would you be happy? Is that is that do you envision that in your mind? How do you see this no, happening? I don't. I don't. Do to you, be honest, as mm. a man, I really don't. I would feel like a bitch. Just <laughs> no, I really would, because I'd just be because the, the thing that goes in your mind is you want to be like, oh, yes. Did she really <laughs> and, and that pitch, this? you'd be like, oh, yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but. Please don't no. accept the proposal in that in that voice or in that manner. Like, yes, no. I will marry you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. It's a tough situation because you don't want to tell your girl no. Especially if she went out of a way to get you a ring and stuff like that. But what I would do if I was in that situation. Okay. I would say yes, just for the moment. No, see, that's the I, thing. No, don't no, listen. say yes no, if you don't mean no, it. No, let me finish. Why would let you say finish. yes to a piece? Okay, I'm let me, sorry. No, let I'm me sorry. finish. I digress. Go I would ahead. say yes for the moment. But then eventually, I think. I would want break her heart anyway. No, no, I would. I would <laughs> break so, her so, heart. So, see where you going with this? See where you going with this? That's all. No, I think eventually I would eventually repropose. Why you gotta repropose? Just... No, because that would tell me that listen, this girl wants to marry me so. Okay, but bad. I'm sure you she have wants known to be that. with me so bad that she's willing. To, to embarrass herself. <laughs> uh huh. Say the right word. Embarrass herself. She just wanted to go embarrass against the herself grain. to be with me. Yes. All right. So, therefore, I'm going to return the favor and say, you know what, baby? Let's do this right. Let me go ahead. I know you proposed to me. You bought me a ring. At the end of the day, I know you want me to be yours, but I'm going to go ahead and propose to you and make this If that's thing the case, right. you should have just did it first. Why you got to redo something? Why do you need me Some, to jump so you, you can You know jump what? Higher? Women are ready to get married way before men. I would like to say some women. Nah, I would like to say a lot more women. Some and a lot more. All right, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you have it. See, that's, that's the thing I be getting into with him. He's be like really nitpicky. But no, that's 
I think it just I think a lot more women would like would like And a lot like of women these days, a lot of millennials, we're worried about our career. We're worried about um that's because you can't gym. find a good man that that will that's marry you. That's because they don't exist. I no, mean, they no, do. Not that they have, that's a joke. Look, that's a joke. Look, that's a. Um, <laughs> What's that commercial? No, <laughs> somebody they been hurt. <laughs> like no, somebody they been this. hurt before. No. Tosin, we got some stories. No, 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 no. Somebody no. been hurt. Let me. He trying to put me drink. out there. Let me tell this you. This is drinks and conversation. Drinks conversation. and conversations. We gotta, yeah. Listen, when you get a little drink in your system, that's when you all the stories is gonna come out. <laughs> that's when you are gonna tell us about Why all of the to get me dead drunk? wrong uh -uh. ass niggas that done did you wrong in the past. <laughs> Should we drop some names? No. Um, <laughs> You better not drop any names. I'm I don't need anybody trying to sue me for telling the truth. <laughs> no, but no, you make it seem like I have like an ice box where my heart is. Not used to be. I still it have a heart. Good. I don't my know. Ice box. I don't know. My, oh, my, oh, you want this? Um, I hate men and every no, man is a cheater love type men. shit. I actually love men. I do. I love okay. men, but right. I just haven't found a man that I'm in love with. Okay. <laughs> Big difference. All right. Big All difference. right. You know, you know. No, but let me tell you, I'm, you know, I always call myself self-proclaimed -procl web series junkie. I love web series. But, man, these web series got me feeling like I really want to be in a relationship. You ever just watch something and it's like, dang. I've been wishing I was in, the, like, it was my real story. So why do you think it's so hard? Why do you think it's so hard to get into a relationship these days? Because I don't go nowhere and I don't want me nobody. Oh. That's, like, real. Like, I really. No, you know what it is? It's that a lot of y'all women, y'all don't. There's men that approach you and you just cut them off. No, because those men be the little church candies. Like, if you see <laughs> Snickers and Kit Kats and all the Halloween candies, you don't want to go to that little butterscotch, <laughs> little peppermint. Those be the men that be coming, the butterscotch and the peppermint. I want the Snickers and the Kit Kats <laughs> and, and the good the You're good picking. Candy. Your ass is picking. Why don't you wait for a butterscotch <laughs> to turn into a Snickers? A you don't want <laughs> This ain't a butterfly. It, a butterscotch is going to be a butterscotch. You know, you, <laughs> it ain't you, turning into anything else. You, <laughs> You don't want you don't want to wait. You don't want to work with some. You don't want to work with the butterscotch to turn no, into a snake. No, these That's men, you got to put them together like you building a bridge or something. That's I, not I'm true. Not an Every man has, has I'm not an process. engineer. Like you got to come at least halfway good. Like we can grow together, but dang, I got to build you from the ground up. No. What about you? You good? Oh, every female, <laughs> every female thinks they're good. Let me tell you, all the females out there are good. No, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think y'all just born ready. I mean, we working on it. We be, we're, we're reading books. Listen, men we're, mature a whole lot slower than women. That's fine. That's, That's absolutely cool. fine. But I mean, no, so you honestly, got to be though, patient. Honestly, there's you no got real, to, you got to get I, into no, your no, inner, no. your I'm inner patient. I'm extremely patient. I'm not waiting on no man, but I'm extremely patient. But there's like, where, where do you go? Where'd you meet your girl? Where'd I meet her? Where'd you meet her? We met through a friend. Okay, through a friend. Okay, well, what if you don't have no friends? Everybody got friends. Ooh, I'm just saying, what if you don't have no friends? Or what if you okay. don't have no friends but have friends that you like? Okay, if you don't have no friends, then you do this. If you're really trying to meet somebody. But you're not really trying to meet somebody. You go out. You just go out go and where? you party. I mean, you can go you to You go clubs. party? Clubs? No. You it's can go to a lot. Let me tell you, if you're a girl and you walking with confidence and you just doing your thing, you could be walking through the mall. And this guy's that's that's gonna approach you. Now all you gotta do is you gotta weed through those guys. Pretty but much. at the end of the day, there's gonna be guys that still want to date. There's a lot of guys out here. Trust me, as a woman, you're going to get approached by somebody. Yeah, it may be the old man, it may be the oh. dirty <laughs> uncle, but you're gonna get approached, okay? <laughs> The Somebody dirty, wants the to tap uncle, that. Uh, I mean, get it, we get approached, but it's all like how you approach somebody. Location, too. Like, for example, if That's I'm true. at the club and somebody's trying to holler, I don't even go to clubs anymore, but seriously, like, meeting someone at the club is just enough. What's wrong with the club? I get, personally, you know, you got to have your preferences. You know what I mean? You gotta have, this is something that That's I just true. don't do. Just like, for example, if I met a guy, um, where's another, like, ratchet place to try to meet them. I don't know. Where's like a horrible place? Or I just like, no, this location, no one here is for me. The grocery store is a good place to meet somebody. Mm, I 
go to the grocery store early in the morning and this And y'all women love the shop. Yeah, I always go early, but when I'm shopping, I'm right. not like my brain is not I'm focused thinking on about my mission. Thinking, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm trying to get yeah, these you, pumps. You focus on the savings and yes, the, the coupon. And I got to make sure I'm price matching and price checking and looking <laughs> at my phone to get my retail me not coupon to save some coinage. So, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I'm not pressed. I'm not pressed, you know, but it would be nice. It would be nice, you know. I believe that women, y'all can meet men anywhere. Y'all can meet men anywhere. It's it's That's actually true. harder for men if they want to, in my opinion, because I'm a man. But still, I think it's harder to to actually find that that woman that you want because you got hoes, you got girls that cheat, but men you got entertain girls those that women. you got you got girls that's not faithful. You got girls that are that are not like your moms. You well, got girls no that are just mom. scandalous. And you got to weed through all of but that. But the thing is, a dude will entertain those. A woman, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I'm like, oh, no, I'm not even going to waste my time with that and keep it moving. But why are you not stopping and talking to nobody? But dudes will entertain all those things or types of people you just named. I and they be know. wondering why they don't have Mrs. Right. Because you entertaining all this nonsense. We got... We can make a Mrs. Right, okay? You really we, believe you can yeah, make a Mrs. No, right? No, we can make a... I believe we can make a Mrs. Right. But at no, the end of the I day... I don't believe another person can make anyone. You want your bow wow talking about something. <laughs> uh, look at that. I made that. You ain't make nothing, boy. That girl was... Her mom and her dad and Jesus <laughs> made her. If you don't go sit down and have several seats... Bow wow is not engaged anymore, by the way. I know, but I remember when he was saying, look at that. I made that. You remember that? Well, we all knew that wasn't gonna work out. No, no, no. Oh, let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> I digress. He was, he was with Erica Mina. I heard now he's with Keisha Cole, and she's supposed to be supposed to be Prego. But this is I all speculation, know. so I don't know. That's all speculation. Hollywood. But we know fast. for a fact he was with uh, Erica, Erica Mina. Mm-hmm. How we both say mm-hmm like she, that? It, but she was a Scorpio. Let me tell you something. Y'all Scorpios are a mess. <laughs> you guys are a real mess. We will trap your ass. Clearly. We will trap your ass and you will never get away. Oh, gosh. So Until we done with you. Always run from Scorpios. Clearly. <laughs> I think that's what the takeaway is. You can't is run from a Scorpio. Why can't you? Because you can. You can run from anybody that you want to run from. Believe not that. Not from a Scorpio. Why not? Because I'm going to tell you how Scorpio is. A Scorpio, and this is for all my Scorpios out there if you're listening. A Scorpio is like a spider, okay? You got a web, right? Okay. You know? All right. Once your ass get on that web, you can't get off that damn web. It's sticky as shit. So you're not going to be able to get off. And we just, you are prey. You just dead. And once we got you, we got you. Because we already done set the motherfucking trap before you already got there. To everyone who fell asleep during that analogy <laughs> of webs and spiders and scorpios, oh my, I, I don't even know what Look. to say about that. <laughs> I do not even know what to say about that. But the good people of the DMV, thank you so much for listening to Drinks and Conversations. Hey. Once again, it's Oxy Tosin in. Intro picks, and, and I'm always and in the building. Hope to see you. What is it, April? 30th. At Drinks and Conversations Park. Three. It's definitely going down. We will be in the building, and you should, too. Yeah, most definitely. Make sure y'all come out. Yeah. Make sure y'all talk with us. Yeah. Come mm-hmm. out. Hey. Come out. Get it in. Well, Let I go. can toast in. Toast in. Pick. I get hey. it in. Drinks hey. and Conversations, a part three. Adams Morgan. It's going come out. down. Hey. <laughs> We want y'all to come through. And have a good time. Eat some food. Yes. You know what? You just made me somebody at, at the event. <laughs> You're talking about all the single people come out, especially and the And make sure people. y'all listen to us. Yes. Share us, love us, tag us, at us, follow everything. us. Everything. Yeah, do everything. Might as well. Hey. <laughs> we out. Hey.